Definitely a must when you're here. Turkish coffee and baklava. Well, we're inside the Blue Mosque, but there's a lot of scaffolding still. It's unbelievable. Actually, inside does not seem that big at all compared to when you're outside. Bazaar. So this is basically like shopping area. Maybe a lot, a lot of Turkish rugs and food, but it's a labyrinth of just alleys of just shopping. So <laughs> definitely a must check out. All right, so I definitely recommend if you take the metro in. This is the station to get off, and uh, it's a good central area. Just. About a 10 minute walk to the Blue Mosque and all the other stuff. But yeah, definitely using the metro is a great way to get around here and affordable. Don't take a taxi. <laughs> Now, place is alive. Time to get dinner. All right, decided to go with like kind of one of the platters they have here. So it says bread. You get your tea, egg, cheeses. Oh my god! Look at the tomatoes. Wow. That's the fresh cream and then the honeycomb. Fresh honeycomb. Oh my god. That's the metro station, Halish, up there. Nice little stop off if you want to get down to the water. So you have the old city up there on the other side. Beautiful day out, about 65 degrees. Reaching the end of our coffee here. Look at all the mud. Mm. Definitely a very unique coffee. And I would definitely recommend having more than once when you come to Istanbul. Alright, well I'm not going to the top because the line is forever. But that is the Galata Tower. So you have the ticket cart over here, that's probably a 10 minute wait, and I would say maybe a 40, 50 minute wait to get in. But yeah. I mean, if it's not busy, I would go, but no thanks. Just walking the city all day, looking at all the mosques, it's amazing. skills for crossing the road. All right, now I'm gonna start moving again. Oh, call the prayer. Pray for me getting across the road. All right, 
Looking good here. Bam! Anything you want, you can get here. <laughs> I could say it's a little busy. Lunch day. I'm in a nice little quiet corner here. We got the yogurt with dill, some bread, and a salad, and then we got a kebab coming. Topaki Palace here in Istanbul, out in the main square and gardens. So this is an interesting baklava. I may have this one, it's like a cocoa powder, but it also has like milk inside. You can see it kind of oozing out. It's actually really good. It has a very dairy taste to it. And of course, we've got our tea. So this is one of the cisterns that you can visit while in Turkey. And I definitely recommend it as something to do. All right, now we're underground in the cistern. That's pretty awesome. This was uh, 150 Turkish lira to get in. It's about $10 or so.
right, so we're gonna try and get into Hagia Sophia. This used to be a mosque, and then it was a church, and now it's a museum, but they still do prayer and everything from here. And this is actually located directly from the Blue Mosque, which I went in the other day. So they're just, uh, prayer's done, so everyone's getting out. You can see the line over here of people waiting to get in. So it's, it's a long wait. But uh, from what I've seen inside, it's definitely worth waiting for. And uh, my last day here, so I need to go out with a bang. So I've been waiting about half an hour for it to open. You can see it's just a mass amount of people. In. Definitely a squasher. Guys, this is beautiful. Just amazing. Definitely worth the wait coming in. Make sure you wear pants. Ladies, cover your hair. Take your shoes off. Definitely incredible. See everyone over here washing up. Muslim tradition. Pretty cool to be part of. Alright, so we're done there, but now it's time to get some lunch, and uh, I'll show you guys where to walk. So this place on the corner, this place on the corner is really good for, uh, don't forget, don't get run over by these bad boys. This place on the corner here is famous for their meatballs, and uh, but if you go down this little alley over here, There's actually a uh, little foodie area up here where there's like over 150 restaurants. So just head down here. People don't get there, there's people. Hi. So you just do this and then make a left up here and this is the foodie area. So yeah, tons of options up here. Alright, so we're actually in my hood where I'm staying. So this is a small area north of uh, the old city called Levent. And uh, I had quite a few little restaurants here. Got a mall across the street. It's where I get the metro, you know, the, the main area, historical. But 
nice thing about this area is you have some nice hotels, but the prices are not as bad as you're gonna spend down that way. And honestly, with the public transportation, I think it's just fine staying up here and taking the metro, which is like a 15, 20 minute ride. It's super cheap here to get around. You can see the mall there, tons of restaurants over here. A little bit kind of newer style. One thing I do recommend is, not as much in this country, but some of the Muslim women do not like to be videotaped. So, you know, just don't zoom in on people or that, um, out of respect. Um, like I said, not as bad in, in this country because it's a little bit more Western. So you have, you know, a different kind of outlook on things. This little restaurant right here is actually pretty good. I went here last night. But they have the weirdest little menu. They actually have, like, two things you can eat. And then baklava and some different type of uh, fruit drinks. And tea, of course. But it gets packed all the time. But yeah, if anyone's looking for recommendations, somewhere to stay, Levent is kind of a nice area. It's more of a business area. And uh, just a little bit out of the hustle and bustle of the downtown. But you do have to take the metro to get here or a bus. So, anyways. So I'm in this taxi. I don't know if the guy's half asleep or drunk. I'm trying to get to the airport, and the guy's like, I need to get some coffee. I need to get some coffee. Let's get off and get coffee. So we're currently at, like, the little gas station here. My flight's in, like, I don't know, like 70 minutes, so I don't have long. And he's like, nope, we, need, we get coffee. You need coffee. Oh, my God. If I get to the airport, this will be a miracle. All right, guys, back in Istanbul Airport. Duty-free is off the hook. Man, this place is cool. Uh, give yourself plenty of time. There are two checkpoints uh, for searching bags and everything. Um, but it is one terminal. So you just come into the, the one terminal and it's got all its gates here. All right. Well, that's it for the Istanbul series. Where am I off to next? Find out soon.